get the reel up here real quick. One second. Okay. So, as y'all know, we're doing a little rod review. This rod's the 13 Fishing Blackout. I'm going to go over like two things, and then we're going to do a little fishing part at the end of the video. So, stay tuned for that. It's pretty good. It's a car. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start. We'll say like the specs. It is a 7.3 medium heavy fast. It's rated for lures from 3.8 to 1 ounce and then line from 12 to 20 pound. So that sounds like your normal medium heavy, but one thing I did notice right when I got this is that it's kind of stiff, or at least it's more stiff than what I'm used to because my medium heavy is like flimsy. I feel like with a rod like this, you could get away with doing some more heavy cover fishing, like frogging or whatever that may be. But I do like that about this rod. It's still sort of sensitive, being a little beefier. But I'll say a few features I like, and I'll end it there, and there'll be some fishing. First little feature I like about this rod is going to be its little micro guides here. They're going to allow for more precise and accurate casting. I really like that. That can be really important in a rod, so I'm glad you get that in this rod. Next thing is going to be little hook keeper here i mean you see it in a lot of other rods but you'd be surprised a good bit of rods actually miss that like i have a habit of hooking my bait in the reel and that sometimes scratches it up so with a little hook keeper like this i can just slip my hook in there and then slip it out when i'm ready to fish okay final one final little feature i like is going to be the rod handle and then this little part of the reel seat now what i like about this is the little design it's got here when i'm looking for a rod obviously you want it to be a good rod but i also want it to look good this little design here it's like a silver marble look and i really like that it's a really cool design you get it here and then as i said Part of this real seat it's not a fuji real seat or anything like that but i feel like a design like this sort of makes up for it it looks pretty cool so i like that about it we're gonna go ahead and pause the video there there's one last feature that i forgot to mention in the video so i figured i'll show y'all now that's gonna be your little reel clamp i don't think there's like a direct name for it but it's that little tool that tightens your reel your rod well it's more of a looks thing i see this little upgrade and honestly i think it looks a lot better than this which is like what you see on your traditional rod i personally think it's ugly i just don't like how it looks that's it for this feature so we'll go ahead and get into fishing See what happens if I bring it out of this train here. Oh. There we go. Had a feeling I'd get bit there. There he is. There he is. Good fish. No, I'll be good. Come on. It's a fatty. And look how he ate that. There he goes. Oh yeah, we're over there. Can't tell me that shouldn't be a blow. There he is. There he is. Another good fish. Oh my gosh. Send him back here. There he goes. 